Hey guys, Kamikuno, and today I'm doing a review for The Walking Dead, episode 12 of season 2, called Better Angels. And uh, a lot of stuff happened with this episode, and before I start my review, I'm going to say I'm going to be seeing a lot of spoilers, so uh, just to talk about this really great episode. So uh, if you guys haven't watched the episode, be warned, there are a lot of spoilers in this review. So um, in this episode, we get to see um, from the beginning that everyone's uh, mourning for Dale. We get to see Carl kind of... Uh, morning that he kind of killed Dale and um, him talking to Shane saying uh, you know I killed Dale and I feel sorry for it and um, he had a gun in his hand that he uh, stole from Daryl he said yeah here's the gun I really I don't want it anymore I, I just don't want to deal with this anymore and it was a mistake so he knew it was a mistake and um, Shane and even Rick because Rick finds out that he told Shane and found out what happened uh, so Rick and Shane both kind of comfort him saying oh don't worry it wasn't your fault um, so just don't worry about it. So we do get a little bit of, um, uh, aftermath of Dale's death, but not a lot. People mourned, but it wasn't too much, oh, Dale, you know, it's just a whole episode talking about Dale. No, it wasn't too much of mourning. It was just enough, I thought, and which was perfect. And also we have a lot of conflict with Shane in this episode, a lot of conflict. Um, First, we find out that Lori has no idea whose baby it is. She tells the truth to Shane, saying, "Even though I've been telling Rick that, I know, I know it's, I know it's your baby." Uh, she really does not know, and um, she tells Shane that. Like, uh, and then she says, finally, she says, "Thank you for all the stuff you've done for me." And she's not trying to lead him on. She's just trying to thank him for all the time when um, Rick wasn't there that he protected her, and really he did love her. Um, so that happened in this episode, so that was kind of a cliffhanger, not cliffhanger, um, that was kind of a shock, because we didn't understand, uh, the audience didn't know either if it was Shane's or Rick's baby, now we definitely know that, though we don't know whose baby it is, it's not Rick's baby, it's not definitely Rick's baby, it's not definitely Shane's baby, it's just that we don't know, and, um, in this episode, the big thing that I, I've been trying, I said it's going to be a big spoiler, um, Shane dies in this episode, and uh, it's a way that is perfect. Like, I heard rumors throughout, for a couple of months, not a couple of months, but, um, I would say a month now, that, um, Shane, uh, who plays Shane, is going to be in a different TV series. So, uh, there was a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of speculation that he was going to die. And also, I heard, um, they had a season two, uh, DVD set description that says, describes episode where Shane dies. So, we knew Shane was going to die, but how was he going to die? And, uh, I was very, that was, I think, uh, one of the things I was most excited to see. How was he going to die? When he was going to die? And I have to say, I didn't expect him to die the way he did. And he died in a way that, uh, uh definitely going to bring a lot of conflict in the next episode. Because he dies with Rick killing him. Because Shane, you can see through this whole uh, entire episode how psycho he's going throughout this episode. He's uh, keeps breathing deeply. He's just going psycho in this episode. And you see that. He's going psychotic. And he wants to kill Rick. He's playing all these things to kill Rick. Um, and he... He just went crazy, and he says, I'm going to kill you, and he's like, I'm the better man, I I'm, I'm a better father, and you know, Rick says, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you, and then, kind of a self-defense, Rick kills Shane, because Shane is definitely going to kill Rick, he has no doubt in his mind that he's going to kill Rick, uh, so, like, Rick really has to have some self-defense, and kind of be a man, and, uh, kill Shane and show that yeah I am the leader of this group and I'm gonna take extra limits to keep the group safe and keep my family safe and that's exactly what he did and then when he killed Shane I was at first I was like what what's going on here uh definitely a big big uh cliffhanger and a big shock it was definitely the one of the most shockers in this entire series I'm like what like I knew sh I knew Shane was gonna die but I did not know Shane was gonna die this way I thought maybe horde of zombies or something but really did not expect Shane to die from Rick's hands and you also have to think of even though you didn't really see it throughout the two seasons Shane and Rick are best friends they were best friends before this whole zombie apocalypse happened before the walkers came they were best friends and now you have to see through Rick's mind I just killed my best friend I mean, yes, it was self-defense, and he, this is the first person he actually killed that was human, and yes, he's killed walkers, but he can't believe it, and then the the worst part, well, the, not the worst part, the best part for us, but the worst part for him, Carl sees that 
Shane's dead. And um, Rick's hovering over his body. It's like Carl doesn't know what to expect. And Rick doesn't even know. How does Rick say that? Hey, I killed Shane. You can't say that. And uh, it was unbelievable. It was just great. And there's another big thing. If you thought this was big, they had an even bigger thing in this episode. We get to see that you don't have to get bitten with these zombies. Um, we find out because uh, Shane kills one of the people that been held hostage for a couple episodes um he killed him and he became a zombie and um glenn and daryl they're walking in the forest they find out that the kid became a zombie but there was no bites on him how do you become a zombie if there's no bites and um when shane dies he wakes up and uh he uh, is a walker and we don't know how he, he didn't get bitten how did he become a walker and you see a flash of like um walker's mouth and just is just crazy and just keep seeing flashes of that and you see that he's becoming a walker but how's that possible and um as this is happening as shane's becoming a walker carl's trying to decide should i kill my father because you killed shane so carl and carl and rick is going to have a big problem with their relationship and then rick is definitely going to have self problems and uh he's gonna have to fight himself and he's gonna become his own worst enemy because he killed shane shane started becoming crazy when he killed otis and now i think rick's gonna start really he's gonna have to fight himself because he killed shane and i think they're gonna have to talk about that i know the next episode looks crazy but he's gonna have to deal with that also he's gonna have to deal that he killed shane a very important member of the 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 group and his best friend and really part of the family and even though he was crazy and wanted to kill Rick he was still his friend in the past and that's not going to change so we're definitely going to see a lot of that and again I know I was going off subject but this mystery of how are these people turning into zombies if they didn't get bitten um I was watching uh, this episode with my brother and he's saying oh maybe um I think he had a great idea a great um a great idea of how this happens uh, because maybe they killed all these people with knives I think they definitely did kill um, Shane on purpose with a knife because I think that um made the blood of the the walkers that they've been killing all these times maybe that blood has been making them become zombies because if they didn't get bitten I think the zombie blood has been making these people get infected and that's my guess and then in the end if your mind hasn't been blown already a horde of zombies comes from the forest and we don't know if glenn and daryl are safe but we saw a trail of the next episode it seemed like they're gonna be safe because they're at herschel's farm but we don't know we don't know that um <laughs> glenn and uh daryl are safe because they are in the forest with the horde with the horde of uh walkers and that was just another mind-blowing thing. A horde of walkers are coming. Who's going to survive? And we know in this last episode, someone's going to die. And it really is strange because of how many people died already. We had Dale in the last episode. Shane, like, who's next, really? I mean, it's going to definitely be a big episode. And it's definitely going to have to have a lot of cliffhangers because of we're going to have to wait a really long time for another episode. We're going to have to wait until October for another episode. But... We've waited longer from season one to season two. But it's definitely going to be a great episode. And I love this episode. This is actually one of my favorite episodes of the series. It was great. Towards It wasn't even like, because in the last episode, it was like, oh, yeah, it was a great episode because of the ending. Like, it was just building up through this episode. We get to see the psychotic Shane, uh, him trying to kill um, Rick this whole entire time. He was psychotic. And you could see it in his breathing and his, his motions. It was just that he was psychotic. He wanted to kill Rick. And he wanted to keep luring Carl for himself. He wanted to be uh Lori's husband and Carl's father he wanted to take Rick's place he says oh you know Lori and Carl and I ain't gonna care about you so if I, I kill you it doesn't matter I, I could take your place he wants to be Rick and um I just thought it was an amazing episode and I want to hear your guys opinions but uh this was definitely a great episode can't wait until next episode um want to find out about this mystery about who's gonna die next the horde the cliffhangers there's just so much themes and there's just uh, theme of relationships again with uh, Rick and Carl we don't know what's gonna happen there we don't know because Rick killed Shane what's gonna happen there it's just there's so much going on and I can't wait to see how this gets resolved in the next episode and how more shockers are gonna happen in the next episode 
because I think it's going to be a great, a uh, great, uh, season finale, and, uh, this was a great episode, and again, one of my favorites from the whole entire series, um, not even from season two, from the whole series, it was one of my favorites, so I want to hear your guys' opinions, what did you guys think, uh, did Shane deserve to die, um, I don't think he deserved to die, but it was definitely a big shocker, and he's one of those mean characters, like, oh, he, Shane's not gonna die, Shane just died, okay, you're pulling all the stops, and, um, The Walking Dead is not afraid to kill anybody, and we've seen that, and we know that people are going to die in the next episode also, and maybe they'll finally leave the farm after this, we don't know, but, um, Great episode, and again, want to hear your guys' opinions. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter in the description below. There'll be a link for that. I have comic book news, uh, reviews I'll be doing, and topic videos I'll be doing. And also, don't forget to follow my other YouTube channel, The Rand Situations, on um, Twitter in the description below. There'll be a link for that also. And I hope you enjoyed. I give this five stars. If I could give more stars for this episode, I would. But it was a great episode, and uh, this was Kamakuna. I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.